welcome back Canonites for the next issue of Cannon Fodder. It's a bit on the light side this week, but pleasant nonetheless. This week we meet 343's narrative designer, one Morgan Lockhart. Morgan has been writing in one form or another since her teens and working on games since her last year in college. Some of her credits include Vanguard's Saga of Heroes, EverQuest 2, and Rift. I sadly have not played any of those. I never really had time for MMOs. But back to Morgan. The interview goes into a great deal about Morgan and her role at 343, providing a bit of insight into Halo 5's development and the ways 343 is looking to deliver the narrative of Halo 5, not just through the cutscenes, but through the game world itself. It's very revealing, especially when it comes to the way the Spartan allies had to be programmed and written so that there would always be a reaction of some kind to whatever's going on in the world, depending on an untold number of variables that can arise during any given playthrough. We even get a small peek at the development of Sanghelios, a world we've seen many a time, but not in the same degree that we will in Halo 5. As always, check out the full article on Halo Waypoint in the Cannon Fodder article, and I want to thank Morgan for sitting down with Grimm and giving us some truly insightful answers. And really, that's basically the whole article this week. It's a good read, but as I usually don't like to spoil the interview in these breakdowns, it makes for a pretty short video. But thankfully, we have our universe entries to pad things out. This week we have the San Shayum and the brand new Artemis tracking system. Starting out with the San Shayum, there's really not much to talk about if you've read Contact Harvest, Cryptum, and Broken Circle. If you haven't, however, this is a great introduction to the species and their history. For the uninitiated, here's the skinny. The San Shayum were once a race known for their youth and near-universal beauty. Following the defeat of the human San Shayum alliance by the Forerunners, the race was quarantined to their home system. It would also seem that the Forerunners enacted some slight genetic manipulation as part of their punishment that, at least in part, led to a physical and cultural reduction, resulting in a focus on age and wisdom over youth and physical indulgence. Following the activation of the Halo Array and the reseeding, the San Shayum began to worship the Forerunners as gods, but strongly deterred study of their technology. That is, until the Reformist movement. The Reformists believed that study and disassembly of the old artifacts could unlock their true power. From there, I think we all know the story. The Stoics and Reformers got into a fight, the Reformers piled into the Dreadnought and took off, they eventually met the Sanghili, Ward, made peace, and formed the Covenant. Following the war, the San Shayum, those that survived the fall of High Charity anyway, have gone into hiding, their fate unknown for the time being. Like I said, a good intro or refresher, but a fun read regardless of your level of foreknowledge. Next up is the Artemis tracking system, a key feature in Halo 5. The Artemis is a prototype tracking system that scans an environment and identifies items of interest, be those weapons or something of interest to intelligence analysts. At the moment, it's seeing limited field use with permission from Spartan Commander Sarah Palmer for use in tracking lost UNSC assets. Interestingly, the system is developed by Ohana Prescient Systems. This may sound like a new company, but it's actually something that's been around for a while, be it in-universe or out. Previously, they produced the Atlas Plus system for the M99 Stanchion Gauss Rifle, making its first appearance in the Halo graphic novel and establishing the company as far back as 2502. Well, that's it for today. Again, check out the full article and interview for yourself, and until next time, this has been Halo Cannon. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up, subscribing, and sharing it around. You are the reason I get to keep doing this, so thank you profusely thank you. If you want to dive deeper into Halo's lore, head over to the Halo Archive. It's a lore-based community that welcomes everyone from experts to rookies. No matter what your working knowledge, you'll be sure to find a friend and a good time.